Hey guys, it's Chad. I was going through my videos the other day and noticed that I had recorded two videos in a row for the same number of day. So I got behind. Uh, today's 124. In fact, there's a website online. Who knew? You can say, or it'll tell you what day of the year it is, like by number. Today's 124. So here we go. Um, I should, I should start writing these things down. I was trying to think of what I was going to tell y'all. Um, did okay today. Uh, it's Saturday, and my wife's out of town. And so she and I share the responsibilities of cooking. But when she's out of town, you know, we just kind of fly by the seat of our pants and eat whatever we can find at home or abroad. So um, let's see. I'm, I need to start writing this down for you as well. But um, I had some sugary cereal. I had some junk food, uh, what was it, jalapeno poppers maybe, and something else. So I didn't do, I didn't do an A job, but I think I had a, a B. I'd grade myself with a B today. Um, you know, I was thinking tonight about what makes me love to eat so much. So early on in my, <clears throat> excuse me, early on in my videos, you probably heard, if you've watched any of my previous videos, the three of you out there, um, you probably remember when I talked about my relationship with food changing. Um, so I probably have gotten back into some old ways of thinking. Um, so I need to uh, retrain my, my brain again. At least I'm recognizing it, I guess. But um, I think there are some people in the world that eat to medicate, I don't have any other word for it, but a sadness. And I don't mean it like depression or, um, I don't mean it like, um, like, you know, constantly wanting to cry. I think it's this, maybe it's like being unfulfilled in life. Uh, for me, I know it's like a constant busyness that, I just feel like I can never get ahead, never get caught up, and uh, be where I need to be financially for my family. And so I think it causes like a deep, I don't know what to call it. Sadness probably isn't the right word, but do you know what I mean? Like I think people eat to cover up whatever that feeling is. And for everybody, maybe it's different, but I just found myself lately eating, probably when I'm not even hungry, because I just, I'm in this funk and rather than deal with the, maybe it's even subconscious stuff from the past, rather than deal with all that, it's easier just to eat. <laughs> I think somebody said once, you, you eat your feelings. Maybe that's what I'm doing. Um, so in the past, when I've lost weight and gained it back, I think that's what I get back into. I just eat. Uh, when I'm bored or, or I eat because of that, uh, that nagging, um, whatever it is. Is it, is it a disappointment? Is it a frustration? I don't know. Discouragement. Who knows? Um, but it, it has something to do with mental health, I think, right? And uh, yeah, so I don't know. You all know that I'm learning a lot about myself and uh, discovering things, and that's probably the best part of this whole journey is beyond the physical health is realizing, man, I need discipline and I eat my feelings. <laughs> these, these small kinds of things that, um, didn't know existed before, but they're, uh, they're staring me right in the face now. So I hope I can deal with them. Um, if anything, this is revealing those and showing me that these are some areas I need to improve in. Um, it's kind of like looking at the person in the mirror, right? That you, you never saw before and, um, you know, being, being courageous enough, being brave enough to look at that person and see those flaws. Um, I think also see the strengths, right? See the, the beauty, uh, and be, um, courageous enough to change, to make small steps to change. So we're all in it together. I think. We're all on a journey of becoming better people and uh, better versions of ourselves. So don't be discouraged out there. Uh, I guess I could talk to myself right now, couldn't I? <laughs> and encourage other people too. 
Um, but don't be discouraged. Don't give up. Uh, you are in control of so much more than you think. And you can make small changes. Uh, you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to feel alone, maybe. Um, you, you don't have to... You, you aren't alone. You... Um, yeah. You're not alone. And there's a lot of people out there that care about you. And um, hold your head high and believe in yourself. And I think, and I just told my son this the other day, take things, look at the things that you can't control and just kind of push them to the side and find those things that you are in control of that you can make a simple change. Because once you realize what you're in charge of and that you have the power to change, there's a lot of freedom in there and a lot of, um, it's just empowering, right? Very empowering. So I probably rambled for a while tonight, but I hope that encourages you. And uh, yeah, we're on the journey. So guys, thanks for watching the video and I hope you have an amazing weekend and I'll definitely see you tomorrow. Thanks.